Hi, this is Andy. Uh, I'm now back again on my local racetrack here in Linz, Austria. What I'm going to do now, I will test the FPV race tracker software. Uh, what I did is, I did a short, a temporary setup. So I have mounted the, the, the receiver unit on this fence pole over there. So I'm using five receiver units, as you can see. And approximately, I would say, three and a half meter high. What I did as well is, I used these umbrellas over there just to mark the distance between uh, the receiver unit and, and this umbrella. So this is 3 meter and this is 5 meters over there. As you can see it's getting, I think, all over Europe pretty hot. So we have a lot of sun already and this is what I want to test too. So we have a full sun reflection or sun irritation over there to the transponders and receiver units. And I want to see how the system is performing then. Uh, but first I need to set up the FPV race, race tracker software. Let me show you how shortly how I do that. So I will do a video with all features. But now, just for the test, I will set it up shortly. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to create an event. I will call it just test. Uh, this, this is enough. Choose the event like that one. Go to race, assign a pilot to the race, like me in this case, and then uh, uh, set up what you want to do. You can choose between rounds if you want. I choose rounds, not times. This is a training session. I call it Test FPV Race Tracker. So I will, I will fly five rounds. A blocking time means like five seconds is still enough, and the start count on is five seconds so uh, let me set up my quad and let me try it out a few rounds how the system is performing how reliable is the system uh, and let's see what's happened I could see uh, the system works brilliant so every round was catched by the system which is good uh, I'm very happy with that so the new lens is brilliant uh, and the position on the side is brilliant too I 100% believe that works uh, my next my next test will be together with a racing team so I would like to try it out on real racing conditions where four or six quads are racing against each other and see if this works well. So thank you for watching and bye.